Holy crap muffins. The video you're about to see in the next minute is of one racist, crazy woman who I believe needs to have her kids taken away from her. But before we begin, Audible.com is a company hosted by Amazon that hosts thousands upon thousands of audiobooks for your listening, entertainment, and enjoyment. Recently, I have been listening to the book Star Wars Fatal Alliance through Audible.com, and if you sign up to Audible.com using my vanity URL, right bl link below, Audible.com slash Mr. Repsion, you will get a one-month free trial for Audible.com, along with a free audiobook for absolutely free of no charge, along with a one-month free membership. If that sounds like something you'd like to try out, the link is linked down below in the description. Racism alive and well. Amazing. Sure is. It's disgusting what black people got it to. Really? Really. You called me a nigger and I just supposed to sit back, huh? Sure did. You scared the shit out of my kids. You called me a nigger, I just supposed to sure sit did. back. You scared the shit out of my kids. By starting my oh, car. Fucking well. By starting my car. Oh fucking well. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, you got your kids cursing at me too, huh? Don't talk to my kids. Wow, this is amazing. Do not talk to my kids. Okay. Hello? Talk to this fucking nigga not... right now. I am telling you, he's video recorded me. He scared the shit out of Anthony. Sat in the car. He wanted to run his mouth talking about BB and the trashy mother. Fucking say really? something to him I now. Said that. He's got me on videotape, and I'm still flipping the fuck out. You called me a nigger. I, I called you a nigger. You're a nigger. Nasty fucking nigger. Okay. You might want to get because your... he's a fucking loser. That's why he thinks he's gonna get something out of it. Oh no, we're under. I don't. I don't. I don't sue people. Oh, he knows the cops. How many drug cops have I stripped for? You ain't getting fired, bitch. Okay. Tell him, dude. You will fucking kill him. Don't oh. even fucking. I'm telling you right That's now. That's very, very good. I will fucking yank his ass out the car. I don't know what. Because he wants to put it on YouTube, try and act hard. Because I called him a racist. Because he's a racist, ignorant nigger. All right, you're done. My lawyer's involved. Good. Thanks. Stay here. My husband's coming. Okay, sure. Get the video off my kids now, or I will fucking break it. I'm gonna whip my coffee at him Go if ahead. he does not stop fucking. It is very clear that this woman has issues. I think we can all agree on that. But what was more disturbing to me than her using those words was the fact that she had no shame saying those things in front of her children. She is a parent and a parent has a responsibility for what they do and say around their children, and this is one of those instances where I believe that if this woman is really this type of woman, if she acts like this and can react on impulse, you know, he started his car, she says here specifically, and keep note of this because she changes the story with your, what you're about to hear. She said, he, you started your car, you skilled, scared my children. I'm pissed off at you. You're an ignorant nigger, which is interesting that she says you're an ignorant nigger because those the irony of that statement that she uses towards him. Um, but yeah, she's a parent. She's using it in front of her children. That's disgusting to me. She needs to have her children taken away from her. And you're going to see what's going to happen in the next few minutes. Just want to let you know that uh, this is being recorded. And uh, just wanted to give you an opportunity to, uh, you know, tell your side of the story. There's two sides to every story. And, you know, what we see in the video is what we see in the video. Um, but, of you're, but you're claiming that there's uh, there's something that transpired prior to everything being. He filmed. almost hit my son. He um, he almost hit, hit your son with the, with his car. Yeah, and my son said something. I said, "I'm sorry, Anthony. Some people are just ignorant." And then that guy goes, "Oh, really?" And called me. I don't know what he called me. And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "You almost hit my son with your car." Okay. Then he called me a crackheaded cracker. But uh, well, let me, let me ask you. Let me let me just clear the uh, the air here and and ask you. I'm not a racist. Well, that, that... I have a black cousin. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow reptiles? I am not a racist. Do you see how fast she interjected before he even finished his sentence? I am not a racist. See, I have a black cousin. I have a black cousin. I'm not racist because I have a black cousin. No shit, you dumb fuck. In fact. You know what's so ironic about that is it makes no logical sense whatsoever. You can still be racist and have a black cousin. Are you not aware of that? In fact, I have, as embarrassing as this is to say, there is a side of my family, certain people in my family who are in fact racist. And it's very embarrassing. I'm not racist. My family's not racist. Like my family, my mom, my dad, no one, none of our family are racist. But on 
Another side of my family, they are racist, and I stay away from that in a public area of, the, of people in that family, because the last time, I will always remember this, I was in an experience where I was in a public place, and he, used, he called a baby, a little black baby, he used the term nigger degradingly towards a baby who was crying. That loud nigger, that loud nigger, that's, that's what he said. And I was so embarrassed when he said this um, that I got up and actually left the place that I was at because I couldn't be around somebody who was related to me saying this type of, these comments specifically, and he, he's a true racist, and it was embarrassing. Um, but your line of reasoning here is, is ridiculous. I have a black cousin, I'm not racist. No, you can still be racist and you can still hate black people and and have an issue with them if you have someone in your family who's black. I mean, it doesn't take some it doesn't take an expert to realize that. Yeah, that's what that's why I wanted to ask you. Are are you I mean, do you have something against black people? No, I don't. Cuz I'm I'm wondering how the how the term like nigger even came up. He just pissed me off. I'm bipolar. And quite frankly, if you look it up, nigger means an ignorant person. Okay. It has nothing to do with race. Are you serious right now? The word nigger has nothing to do with race. It has to do with ignorance. I don't even know what to say to that. Other than I think you are the dumbest person I have ever seen regarding someone giving any sort of commentary on the area of racism. No, the word nigger was used as a degrading term for slaves, that white people at a certain time in America were pride owners of black people, and the people who had dark skinned were lesser people because of that. That's what the word, the word has a history behind it. And listen here, lady, don't you pull the excuse of, oh, I have bipolar, that's why I reacted that way. No, it doesn't work that way. I believe you when you say you have bipolar because the way you reacted is not a nor how a normal, sane person would react. The issue at hand here is that you need to be accountable for the actions that you have said and the words that you have said and what you have done. You having bipolar does not excuse it. Yes, maybe I can understand it, but it doesn't excuse it. When you do something like this, you need to be held accountable for that, and you will be held accountable for that, and you can't give an excuse of, hey, I have a disorder, therefore that's why I did it. People who have bipolar can, in fact, to an extent, control it if they're taking on medications and so on and so forth. And just be, you know, if someone has bipolar and they radically go out and stab someone or kill someone or react on impulse or, hey, I, don't, I was beating my wife. See, I've been beating my wife because... I'm sorry, but I have bipolar. That's not an excuse. You will be held legally responsible for beating your wife. All right, but, but then... But it's okay for him to call me a cracker and a honky, though. If he really did call you these things, no. It was wrong for him to call you those things. You know, you don't fight fire with fire with words. If someone calls you a cracker, you retorting to calling them a nigger is not going to solve the problem. Do you realize that? Words versus words, that, that's not going to solve anything. If he did call you that, then that was wrong of him. But here's the issue. Whether he did call you that or not, you still have the responsibility on how you react to the situation. And the fact of the matter is he was completely still in the parking lot, unless maybe he parked there or something. And how you changed your story from originally, uh, you originally in the video you say about him that he scared your children because he started the car. And in this radio interview, now you've changed the story, probably to cover your sorry ass, because now... He was driving and almost hit your children. And even if he almost did hit your children in a parking lot, that does not excuse your reaction to the situation. Your reaction was wrong. The way you respond to people is your responsibility, including myself. Uh, but I, I do have to ask you because I heard you say to him, um, they don't like black people either, referring to your kids. Oh, because my son was sitting there talking. He was yelling at him. You, you mean, oh, what did he say? Good, good parenting? I was like, my son doesn't like you either. Yeah, well, you said your son doesn't like black people. Oh, well, I don't even know what I said. I was pissed off. Children look to parents for examples. So it's no doubt that your children are agreeing with you because you're reacting and calling him an ignorant nigger loudly in front of a grocery store around people and they're going to hear those things and they're going to pick up on how mommy reacts and they're going to use that in their words and their speech. Do you have no do you not seem to understand how easily a 3 or 4 year old can pick up words and start using words and things that they don't even understand because 
Parents are an example. Children look to the parents for a role model. And it's very clear that you are not capable of being that for your children. Well, you know, this, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we live in uh, the, the age of, uh, you know, uh, uh, people have cell phones and they tape things and put them on YouTube and things. Yeah, go- I'm all over the place. And now my ex wants to try and take my kids. So this has been a very fucking great day for me. <laughs> Well, oh, just once again, uh, you know, you, you, you have you have a, a captive audience. Um, we're going to put this on the post so that it'll balance things out with your rendition of what took place. So, you know, just go ahead and uh, say. I'm really not a racist. I was just pissed off. <laughs> just say whatever you want to say to people in terms of what happened and, and in terms of what happened and in terms of who you are and what you want people to know about you. Well, l- let me ask you a question. If. If if the guy were standing right here with me right now, what would you want to say to him? Honestly, for ruining my life right now, for me about to lose all my kids, you want to know my answer? <laughs> it's not a very wise one. Well, what I'm asking you is what would you say to him in terms of you, you know, calling him a nasty nigger? Oh, uh, what? Am I supposed to apologize? I, you're not supposed to do anything. I'm just giving you the opportunity to say whatever you would say to him. If oh, he yeah. Were- I'll apologize for him almost hitting my kid and me losing my temper. Lady, you deserve to have your children taken away, and I hope that your ex intervenes and gets custody of, custody of your children for the main fact that you refuse to take responsibility for what you said. Whether he almost hit your children or not, or whether he started his car and that pissed you off, that is no excuse for the reaction that you had in a public area in front of your children, which displayed that you are, in fact, a hateful, racist stripper. And, you know, I have to ask the question, what caused you to be racist? I think I got it. I think I got it. I blame... I blame you, Michael Scott. I blame you. How come Chris Rock can do a routine and everybody finds it hilarious and groundbreaking and then I go and do the exact same routine, same comedic timing, and people file a complaint to corporate? Is it because I'm white and Chris is black? Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, he's, he's, he's ruined, he's butchering it. I, I'm, could you just let me, every time, every time black people want to have a good time, some ignorant ass Oh, no, I take care of my kids. Wait, wait, wait. Is don't always want that. credit stop, for something they're supposed stop, to stop do. It. What you want, a cookie? But I'd like to end this video with a final question. This question is: Is there a difference between the term "nigga" versus "nigger"? Because I live in an apartment complex with a lot of different ethnicities, and I think it's awesome. There's lots of different children around here, lots of different ethnicities, and I love it. But I hear people all the time who are of different ethnicities use the term nigger and nigga outside my apartment complex. Like, in mid-conversation, they are calling one another nigga, nigger. Both of the usage of that word. And it, 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 it makes it confusing to me because at the same time I would never use the the n-word to describe someone in a degrading way ever um, but it's interesting because I see a lot of people around me use the word perfectly fine and nothing is, is you know not no one break no one gets upset about it but I feel as if if I was to use that word even in mid-conversation it would be translated or interpreted differently and it's just confusing to me the difference between nigga versus nigger. And I only have one friend who I know is who uses racist terms jokingly towards me. He calls me a white cracker, and I have sometimes used the 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 word nigga towards him because it's an inside joke. We're always making racial jokes back to one another. I don't see that as wrong because him and me both understand the context of our relationship, but it is really a blurred lines. It, it's confusing when you use it outside of a friendship, how people will interpret that. So that's a question to throw out there. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video. Links are all the videos linked down below. You can watch them in full. They are linked down below. My name is Daniel Solzbach, also known as Mr. Repsion. Thank you for watching this video. Peace to rep out and have a fantastic Wednesday.